Hey guys, um, welcome back to my channel. This is Canyon Tyner here. And today I have my male Muscovy right here. And Muscovies are a breed of duck that are actually a species of wild duck uh, native to Central America. Saw a couple wild ones while I was in Costa Rica over the summer. And as you can see, they have these beautiful wings. Well, this is a domestic Muscovy. So they're, um, you know, the black and white. There are chocolates, lavenders, barred ones. There's all different colors of these guys. So, um... What we're going to be doing today, since Muscovies can fly and get into all sorts of trouble, we are going to um, clip his wings, which this does not harm them at all. This actually is a way to keep them safe so they don't fly into roads or um, fly away and get lost and become susceptible to predators, etc. So you can see this is another wing of his. Um, that's a very pretty feather, kind of a marbled one there. We might, We may pull this one. Um, so the reason you want to clip feathers instead of just ripping them out is one, if you pull them out, that causes the bird a lot of pain. Um, this way the bird doesn't feel anything. It's just like getting a haircut. So, um, you can see his head here. Um, uh, obviously he's a little stressed out. This is going to cause him no pain at all. This will actually keep him from flying away or hurting himself in the future. So he's going to squirm just a little bit. But so there are two types of flight feathers here. You have your primaries. I mean, sorry, these are your secondaries. So you don't need to trim these feathers at all. But in Muscovies, these first eight feathers here, often they are a different color if he's a pie like my male is. Um, these are his eight flight feathers. So these are the ones he uses to really push and get that lift off. So we're just going to go through very easily. And you don't want to clip the very tip because um, that's not going to do much. So you can do them all at once or I'm going to do it one at a time. You kind of cut further down. You just snip, snip, snip. It is a little messy, but see, it causes them no harm. It actually keeps them. doesn't look the greatest. But um, with breeds of ducks that can fly, most of the time you're doing it with small ducks, like um, wild ducks such as mandarins and wood ducks. Then domestics like call ducks, black east indies, and a few um, runner ducks can fly as well. So, they, they molt generally about every six months. Oh, he's squirming around here. Um, they molt about every six months. So, you're going to want to do um, get a hold of them before they really start to fly. So, you don't let them fly away very quickly. Um, we're just going to cut deep on this one. On further down, because I'd like to keep that feather. Because this one, you see it's more mosaic. I like that a lot. So, um, you can do one side, but Roger here is such a powerful duck um, that he can actually fly with one wing. So, we're only going to trim a few, maybe the first four of this first wing here. Um, I'm going to do it with my left hand. We're going to extend the wing. And we're just going to just gonna snip. Let me try and do it. There we go. And just like that, that wing is done. So you can do it all at once. It's very simple. I might trim those back too. So yeah, guys, that's all you have to it. Make sure that your bird's wings are fully grown in and they don't have any blood on the opposite side because sometimes you can see like that white strip can be purple or red and have blood in it. And you never want that to happen because if bloods are notoriously hard to clot bleeders, so you never want to cut into the quick or into the blood on the wing. So you want to make sure the wings are properly um, grown in where you start again. You see he has a few scars on his face from his previous adventures before he could fly away. But see, this is something you do out of love for your animals. It doesn't hurt them or anything like I've said before. So if you like this kind of uh, content or you like Roger and my waterfowl, please leave me a like, a comment, and a subscribe. It means a lot. And if you would like to see future videos or any other demonstrations or tutorials, please leave a comment. Thank you guys very much and have a great day.